With our positive daily inspiration reaching so far around the world, going to 1,600,000 plus per day with the original send, that doesn't count the people that forward it to family and friends. There's one thing that we hear continually as people reply about how lonely they are. Society has changed. In the first part of the last century, we were front porch people. Now we are back deck people. And that's a huge difference. The back deck is a place of, as good as it is, isolation. The French, the front porch, it was a place to sit there and greet neighbors. There was a dear lady that was in her 90s that lived in Lee's Summit, Missouri. She lived in the old section of town. And her house was... Oh, probably a hundred years old, and it had a front porch. I visited her, and during the visit, she told me with great anxiety that she really wanted to die because she was so lonely. And she said, I've outlived everyone, all my friends, my family, my children, She had no one, and yet she had a big front porch, and thank God I visited her in person to see this. Here's what I suggested to her. I said, every day I want you to go out and sit on your front porch for about an hour. This this was too brilliant for it to be Chris's idea. It had to be guided by God. She agreed to do this. And the most amazing miracle thing happened. Young people walking their dogs or their their children would pass by the front porch, would wave. And then the wave got into, How are you today, Mrs.? And she would respond back. And relationships developed. Now, she was a great cook. And she, over time, made things for her friends that passed. Cookies and apple pie. And and she was literally adopted by young people as their grandma. She had young children, dogs. She had, over time, in a short period of time, less than a year, had developed so many acquaintances. What a beautiful story that is. And how much a part of her life. It was And I know it extended her life. And I know that also it extended the beauty of her life. She had so much to live for every day. Everyone experiences loneliness. I experience loneliness going from a large church to this ministry. Because most of the time I was in a room alone and And that was a shock to my whole soul. And I would force myself to do things that I had not done before. I would take classes. I would go extend myself beyond the normal. I often tell the story of going to Home Depot and taking a wallpaper hanging class. (laughs) And I would hang wallpaper everywhere, even where it shouldn't be. And I was terrible at it. But but I met people, and I had a good time. If you are, in any aspect of your life, experiencing loneliness, I, I ask you to get out there. 
to become a front porch person, to, to extend yourself so that you can meet others. Because you know what? They're lonely too. They want to reach out too. If you go to a restaurant today, you'll often see people not talking to each other. They're staring at their phone. And that's not a soul communication. A soul communication is eyeball to eyeball, face to face. And that's what you're looking for. Laughter in the moment. You can find it. And people are waiting to find you. I ask you to strive to do this and to know that you can. In every way, I pray for your life to be more fulfilled. I pray for you to realize that you're not alone, that God is with you, and therefore you have the power to connect. That you need to change the me to turn that completely around to we. And that you can walk together in connection with others and have a wonderful experience. People have said to me in the past when I've preached on this years ago, 20 years ago, they said, well, yeah, but that's going to cost a lot of money. Nonsense. Everything that I'm talking about is free. You can join clubs, activities. Look in the Sunday newspaper if you have one nearby your hometown that offers activities that are happening. And then you go and you enjoy. Someone that I know joined a bowling league. They'd never bowled in their life, (laughs) but (laughs) they had a wonderful time. It wasn't about bowling. It was about connecting. It was about the laughter and the, the specialness that you get when you're with other people. So that is my prayer for you, that you have specialness with other people and that they have specialness with you because they're already praying and looking for you.